The Nissan CA18DT is one of those motors that is crept into the hearts of some car enthusiasts, particularly those who have a fondness for early models of Nissan's drift machines, such as the S13 180SX and 200SX, produced from 1985 to 1994. The CA18DT was eventually replaced by the 2-liter SR20 DET models, and I might make a video comparing the two in the future, but for this video, here is an in-depth guide on everything CA18. In this video, we will delve into the history, the specifications, reliability, and tuning potential of this classic JDM inline-4 engine, providing you with the ultimate reference for all things CA18 DET. So let's start at the beginning. The CA18 DET was a part of the CA family, which consisted of a total of 14 engines produced by Nissan from 1982 to 1991. This engine family featured varying displacements including a 1600, 1800 and 2 litre models. With a cast iron block and aluminium head, the CA series was developed as a replacement for engines like the Z series, designed to power smaller cars in Nissan's lineup. Among the six versions of the CA18 engines, the CA18 DET stood out with its impressive performance and upgrades over previous iterations. And there is more to this engine. It's not just more powerful, but it also has some unique traits. Now here are some things that I bet you didn't know about the heart of the S13. You see, there are some lesser known facts that only true Nissan nerds are familiar with. And for those that know, hi to my fellow car nerds. Anyways, one intriguing aspect is that there were actually two versions of this engine, with the second version exclusively made for the Japanese market. The late model Japanese CA 18 dts featured 8 board heads with butterfly actuated auxiliary boards in the lower intake manifold. The CA 18 dts exceptional low end trackability and quick spooling turbo can be attributed to its innovative design. Below 3800 RPM, the engine utilized only 4 long narrow ports, one per cylinder, to optimize intake charge velocity. Above 3800 RPM, the shorter, wider ports, two per cylinder, opened up, enabling improved high RPM flow. This balance between port configurations played a crucial role in the engine's outstanding performance. But I have to say, when it comes to making a load of power, the less intricate European-based CA18 heads are better. They are easier to port and flow, but I thought it was a cool thing to mention nonetheless. So, how much power does the stock motor produce? Well, in its stock form, the dual cam D25 turbofed 4 banger produced around 175 horsepower and 225 Nm of torque, which could propel the S chassis Nissan from 0 to 60 in around 7.1 seconds. Now, I hear you, that's not all that impressive, but that's where the next part of the video comes in the tuning potential of the CA18 DET and unleashing the power of this motor. While some may claim that the subsequent SR20 DET engine offers greater tuning potential than the CA18 DET, it is important not to overlook the latter's capabilities. Numerous examples demonstrate that the well-built CA18 DET can achieve impressive power figures reaching heights of 690 horsepower, and some have even gone over the 700 mark. But let's take a look at it step by step. When embarking on your CA18 DET engine tuning, it is essential to determine how far you want to take your modifications. If the vehicle will primarily be used on the road, it is advisable to stay within the stage 1 or stage 2 modifications, as this will provide a balance between performance and daily drivability. However, for those planning to engage in track activities such as circuit racing or drifting, pushing the boundaries with stage 3 mods may be the ideal path. So let's start with stage 1 modifications. So for stage 1, we are keeping it simple. Upgraded intake, sports exhaust and a good remap. And while you are at it, upgrading the flywheel to a lightened unit might also be a good idea to increase throttle response. These are all basic upgrades that won't break the bank and the car will make a decent amount of power. But it won't be anything crazy, as the stock feeling will struggle to keep up. So for stage 2, let's upgrade the fuel injectors, new fuel pump, better clutch system, remap to utilize the extra fuel, and a bigger intercooler to keep everything nice and cool. Now, in this stage, you won't make over 250 horsepower as the stock turbo won't flow enough air. So you should make a reliable 200 to 250 at this stage, and since these cars are lightweight, it should be quite fun. 
But for those with a healthy bank account, you can take it to the next level. It's time for you to do open heart surgery. Remove the head and port and polish it. While you're at it, upgrade the valves and cams. Before putting the head back on, it would also be a good idea to upgrade the head bolts. Then the bottom end on these motors can handle around 400 horsepower. But since it's open, let's forge the rods and pistons. The crank is strong, so you don't need to change it, but a new balancing shaft would be a good idea. Also then add a nice turbo. Remember, if it is too big, you'll take a year to spool the thing up. So you need to find a sweet spot. Something like a GTX 2867R could be good. Look, you can make more power with the bigger stuff, but a fatter power band is better. Then you might also want to swap out the gearbox, especially if you want to abuse the thing. Now you have a nice strong base to work from, but it still needs to be tuned. Make sure you have the right cooling mods to keep her nice and cool. Add stuff like oil coolers and make sure that the intercooler is good enough for your specific applications. Then also use good quality fuel as this could make a big difference while tuning the car. There you have it, your complete tuning guide on this awesome old JDM motor. If you are fortunate enough to drive a vehicle equipped with the CA18 DT engine, there is immense potential for tuning and performance enhancements. Despite being a product of the late 1980s, the CA18 DT continues to surprise with its longevity, versatility and reliability. Bonus fact, they sound awesome. With careful planning and execution, the Nissan CA 18DD can transform into a powerful and thrilling machine capable of delivering exhilarating driving experiences both on the road and on the track. So whether you are a 180SX or 200SX owner looking to extract more power or simply a JDM enthusiast fascinated by the history and potential of this iconic engine, the CA 18DD presents an exciting platform for exploration and tuning adventures. At the end of it, let me know what you think of this engine and this video. And if there's something that I missed. If I did, let me know down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.